Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm actually bringing a, you another video today, but this time we're actually going to be trying to teach you how to do the wall runs for the bow. Now, the reason why I'm actually going to teach you this today, we're actually going to be doing tamper, te tempered, tempered basil geese. We're going to be doing uh, tempered basil geese uh, today. Now the build that we're using, um, if you don't have most of these jewels, then don't don't worry about it. You don't really need too many jewels, um, as long as you have something for your stamina, and you don't really need two crit boosts. You're you'll be perfectly fine with one. You'll still be killing him pretty fast. And mighty bow isn't necessary for what we're gonna be doing. Uh, we're gonna be doing the wall runs. So mighty bow. I don't think you will see too much of an impact from Mighty Bow. I think you'll see like maybe two points less or one point less, which it is quite a lot for bow. If you think about it, it's like uh, one point per shot. But if anything, you'll still get it done in under five minutes. Now, what we're going to be doing is demonstrating on how to pretty much do the wall run. Now, I noticed that the the mission itself it really doesn't give you too much xp so if you're trying to get a lot of xp from it then i suggest uh you look for another mission because i feel like it's giving you uh normal xp from what you will receive uh from doing a regular tempered quest now this build right here that i have here you can actually run it as well this is the uh, original build you can use if you don't have any jewels aside from let's say if you wanted to run another physique jewel you can actually go right ahead and run it um but yeah like i said you don't really need any of this you just need the boots that you're wearing right now for the spread shot that's actually going to get an increase of damage for for the bow now we're actually going to be switching the build around we're going to be using the empress uh armor pieces so that we can get stamina cap in it now uh stamina cap is actually quite useful i actually enjoy it uh quite a lot i've been using it on some of the builds that i've been messing around around with on some of my bow builds now this build right here that i'm making um like i said if you don't have too many of these jewels as long as you have um either constitution five you should be perfectly fine uh, since we're not going to be running fitness, since we are running um, Marathon Runner, we're just going to run the Attack Charm to run 4 Attack and I think 3 Thunder. Now the reason why I picked Tobogachi's bow over Cove's bow is not because one is better than the other one. It's more because I pretty much believe that more people have Tobogachi than they do have the luck of getting Cove. And on top of that, if you were to get the Cove bow... The armor set's a bit harder to make since uh, you are required to run free up element. You're supposed to have a spread jewel as well. So unless you don't have any of those jewels, I will be sharing that build. Uh, actually, I'll share it with you right now before we start the fight. If you do. All right, let me actually refresh my my materials now. Let me show you the Cove Bow that I've been using lately. Now, you don't have to use Evasion Mantle. If you are practicing, I suggest you run with the Tempora. So let's go right ahead and show you this build. This is the build that I've been using lately for, for the Cove. Now, I've decided to use this build uh, since you do get um, Four Shot and Tenderizer with the two... You're able to run the two Empress so you can get stamina cap. Now, you don't have to run fitness charm on this. You can actually change that with anything you want. You can actually run uh, attack charm. You can run uh, master charm, which would give you crit eyes. So you can actually have, I think it is 30 points of crit instead of having your 20 points of crit. But we're actually going to be using infinity booster. This fight wouldn't last that long anyways. So you can pick and choose what you want to run. Um, you can actually get rid of the four shot here and run another crit boost jewel if you have access to that since we are not going to be using crit boost too often in this fight we're actually going to be doing the wall runs so spread shot which is up here is what we're going to be running now the reason why i picked like i said i picked um toby's bow 
over the cove bow is because I know the decorations are not a lot of people have decorations. Like I said, this build is perfectly fine for you to run. Uh, the boots that we have on right now actually had spread shot, which is why we're running this build. And you're going to be running your two Rathalo pieces. I'm actually going to be switching the armor sets around right now to get uh, the Empress. Oh, by the way, I'm actually going to be switching my fitness charm for the attack charm so we can have four attack. We're going to get rid of, I think this is one too many. No, this is actually a perfect amount of tenderizers. Okay, this is, no, actually this is one too many. There we go. Now we're going to be running, I think that, no, we don't need three. We can run marathon. So we should be perfectly fine right now. Like I said, for what we're going to be doing, you really don't need a uh, mighty bow or normal shot. I am still going to be running mighty bow though, because it does give you that extra point of damage when you go on the way up, but you'll still be doing enough damage to where you're going to kill him in under five minutes. Now we're going to go ahead straight to camp eight. You're going to want to go to camp eight because he always spawns by camp eight. So we're going to go from here and head straight to, to Kush's area. Kushala. So actually, yeah, we already have everything ready. I think the one thing I forgot was the mantle. Now, aside from the mantle, you can actually bring your cat for this fight. Um, I suggest if you bring your cat to bring the Korra Orchestra. You're going to need it. Uh, it will give you buffs while you fight Basil Geese. So let's go right ahead and eat some of these food buffs. All right. So I don't think this mission itself is giving you the right amount of XP that I think was intended to give you. Um, they may or may not fix it. But what we're doing here, we're not really doing it for the XP. We're actually doing it to teach you how to do the wall runs. If the jumping mechanic is what you want to learn how to do with the bow, then I suggest you do this quest. Since fighting basil geese will be the easiest thing in the world while up against the wall while, while running with the mantle. The mantle that we have on now. So let's go right ahead. Hmm. Now, you can do this with friends. You just got to be a bit more careful if you do do this with friends. Um, the reason why is because uh, with the amount of skills that he's actually dropping, he's actually dropping quite a bit more skills than I normally, I've normally seen. But, again, I'm not 100% sure if that's true since I don't really run Basil Geese too often. I normally stick to Tempered Elder Dragons since that's what I actually like fighting because I like farming Tempered Elder Dragons. They're actually my favorite things to farm. Um, but yeah, so let's go right ahead. We actually met us up here for the first time. Um, let's get prepared. Come on, cat, play a song and let's start the fight. Now, I'm actually going to show you if you're aiming this way, you're going to want to press A twice. One to dash into the wall and one on the wall while you're on the wall. So if you press A, you'll actually change the camera angle for your character. Now, if you're dashing this way, you just have to dash, um, dash back. If you dash back, you'll pretty much hit them and you don't have to aim. You just have to dash back and it will always hit basil geese. So you see dash back, hit. He'll pretty much be trapped in that animation the whole time. So dash back, hit. Now, if you want to learn how to do it from any angle, is dash from the side and then press an A on the way up so that you hit them from a different angle. Now, this is, this is what you should be doing so you can learn. You don't want to be stuck on just learning one mechanism. So we're going to go drop him because I don't want him to actually be flying. So as you can see, you can actually angle these. To hit them on different angles as long as you press an A twice you should be perfectly fine now there you go he is dead it's about two minutes and five seconds if you can get this down the way um, I'm teaching you two minutes and five seconds um, this is actually quite fast what we're doing we're actually practicing on how to do the wall runs I don't think this is a really great technique for leveling up because 
I mean, unless you're doing this really fast every time, then yes, you are going to be leveling up a lot faster than normal. But Basil Geese doesn't seem like he's dropping. The XP isn't as much as it is intended to be. Now, aside from that, guys, if you did find this helpful and you enjoyed what I just finished doing, um, leave a like, leave a comment, share, subscribe. Uh, share with your friends if you want them to learn how to do these wall runs and then you guys can do it together It's the same thing uh, If you could get two friends to do this at the same time, that's actually pretty fun But if anything guys, I will be catching you guys later I'm actually gonna show you the XP bonus and you tell me if it's worth it or not worth it um, That's actually a pretty cool kill shot. <laughs> it's like something blew up on him, but yeah, let's actually go right ahead so I can show you the XP bonus. Now, I'm going to leave this like that. All right. So let's see this. I don't think that was a lot. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.